Hi there, my name's Gary Short, that's me on the right by the way, and I'm a software engineer from Dundee in Scotland. This is my trailer for Developer Day Ireland, which is happening on May the 3rd, 2008, and I'm going to be there talking about design patterns. So what is a design pattern? Well, it's basically some knowledge that's been encapsulated, that is wrapped up in software, making it easy to convey, easy to implement, but most of all, it's tried and it's tested. So what patterns will I cover? Well, for those of you who are new to design patterns, I'm going to be looking at some desktop patterns. For the more intermediate, I'm going to look at basic enterprise patterns. And for those of you looking for something a little bit more advanced, I'm going to be looking at some advanced enterprise patterns. So I'm going to go ahead now and look at a pattern in the same kind of way as I'm going to be looking at it on the day. The pattern that we're going to examine just now is double dispatch. Now, double dispatch is a pattern that allows us to <clears throat> create loosely coupled architectures. A loosely coupled architecture is one in which objects know nothing about the internal knowledge or behaviour of their collaborators. So why is a loosely coupled architecture important? Well, let's assume that you have an object and it has three collaborators. In phase one of the project, you distribute the object and its collaborators. In phase two of the project, you're going to distribute another four collaborators. A loosely coupled architecture will ensure that you do not have to carry out any remedial work on the original object or the collaborators from phase one. So a concrete example of this would be a bank account and its transactions. A bank account is simply an object which can manage a balance. One or more of these transactions operate on the account to affect a balance. If the bank account has to know about the internal knowledge or behaviour of a transaction, then that would mean that every time you wanted to add a new transaction, you'd have to carry out remedial work on the account object and maybe redistribute it along with the new transaction object. This would mean extra development and testing work which shouldn't really need to be done. By using the double dispatch pattern, this can be avoided. So. How do we do that? Well, let's have a look at here. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an abstract um, transaction class, which all of my transactions are going to inherit from. I'm going to create a method here called execute with, an, with account, which takes an account object here. I'm going to mark it as abstract, which will force every instance of the transaction, which is or every um, subclass of transaction, to implement their own execute with account method because every transaction will do something completely different and there's no way that this class can know what it is. So we're going to get the individual transactions themselves to implement that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an account. Now a bank account simply has a balance and it has this method here called execute transaction which takes an instance of transaction. However, because the bank account should have no knowledge of how this transaction works, what it's going to do is to dispatch the message back to the caller. It does that by taking the transaction, which was passed in as a parameter here, and calling the execute with account method on it and passing itself in. Next what we're going to do is we're going to create a debit transaction. A debit transaction is a kind of transaction. Again, it has a value, which you can see here, which is going to be the value of the transaction. And here you can see it's implementing the execute with account method which takes the account as a parameter. We're just going to get it to write out a line to the console here just to show that it is actually being double dispatched, i.e. the message is being sent back to the transaction. And very simply, all this does is it asks the account for its balance and it decrements it by whatever the value is. Next thing we're going to create here is a credit transaction. Again, the credit transaction is a kind of transaction which has a value. It also implements execute with account, which takes in the account object. Again, we're just going to get it to write a little message to the console just to show us that it has actually dispatched the message, that the account has actually dispatched the message back to the transaction. And all it does is it asks the account for the balance and it increments it by its particular value. So let's have a look at this pattern in action. First thing we're going to do then is we're going to create an account and we're going to set the balance to be £100. We're going to write out to the console what the opening balance is. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a credit transaction. Credit transaction is going to have a value of 50. What we're going to do then is apply um, that transaction by saying to the account, execute the transaction and execute the credit transaction. If we have a quick look at this, you will see what that does is, again as I showed you before, it will just double dispatch the message back to the transaction. 
Once it's done that, we're going to write out to the uh, console what the new balance is. And then we're going to create a debit transaction, set its value to be 50, write out to the tran write out to the trans to the um, console window, and then we're going to do exactly the same thing. Get the account to execute with the debit transaction and have that message double dispatched. What we're going to do then is have a look to see what the closing balance is. So let's have a look at that in action. So there you see the opening balance is 100, the account is executing a transaction, the message is then being dispatched back to the credit transaction, the new balance is now 150, the account had absolutely no knowledge of that at all, what it did was it just said to the transaction here you do whatever it is that you do using me. The account then executes the other another transaction, message again is being double dispatched and then you can see the balance is back to £100. Okay, so that is basically what I'm going to be talking about at uh, DDD Ireland. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all on May the 3rd. Bye.